rendezvous. On a Tuesday night, mm -hmm. where they just had a big dance. I mean, it was anyone could come. So that bothered me when I found out Janine was doing that, because I didn't know she was. But she went with this gal, this new divorcee that moved in, and uh, she just went once, and then, you know, when I found out, and I raked her over the coals because there she was going out, dancing with just any Tom, Dick, or Harry, you know. Didn't matter if he was a member of the church or not. And that bothered me. It bothered me no end. And I said, Janine, do you want to marry an elder of the church in the temple? Well, of course. Well, then why are you going places where you're not going to meet those kind of fellows? And anyway, she said she had a, a date with this fellow. He played in the band. Okay. I don't know you'd call it a band. It was a, it was a group, a musical group. A musicians, yeah. Uh, yes. And um, she said, he's from Hawaii. And I thought, oh. and, but she, and I said, is he a member of the church? And she said, yes, he's a returned missionary. Well, then that just changed my whole thinking. You know, I just thought, that's okay. She's, <laughs> she's okay. <laughs> and I met him, and he was one of the finest young men that I had ever met. He truly, truly was a good person. Yeah. And he treated her so well. He treated everyone well. Um, I, I can't say enough good about Arthur. He, he, he just, you should be grateful that he is your father, your grandfather, your, you know, whatever he is, relationship he is to you, because, um, that's an honor. He was a good man. Um. I don't know what else you want me to, if no, you have questions you'd you. like to ask me. Uh, what's important about your genealogy? Oh, um, when we were 13 years old, this lady, Sister Bosworth, uh, was a genealogist, accredited genealogist, and she was called as the ward genealogy leader. And she wanted to get some of us younger ones in. We, I'm not sure if we were 12 or 13. I think we had just turned 13. We were young. Mm -hmm. And so I have been doing genealogy ever since I was a, a young teenager. And it's very important to me. An experience I had I was called to be on the, after my mission, of course I, I couldn't do anything when I went on my mission. I served the mission in Brazil. Brazil? Mm -hmm. wow. And then Janine, before I got home, of course Janine was called to Canada yeah. uh, on her mission. But um, Oh, Adele, I just got called as a ward missionary right We're now. All ward missionaries. We're all missionaries. <laughs> You're talking to a bunch of missionaries. <laughs> oh, how neat, how neat. Yeah. But um, I lose my trend of thought. I have to kind of... You think. went to Brazil. You went to Brazil on your mission. Mom got called went. to Canada. And she went to Canada. We wrote back and forth for just, you know, a few months. And then uh, she went on her mission. And... Um, When I came home, I was called to the state board to work with the young women. I was a counselor. Oh, wonderful. And my genealogy kind of took a back seat. Mm. I was busy doing other work. I mean, it was in the church. And so I had a dream, and it, it was a dream. And 
my ancestors. Said, Adele, what are you doing? And I said, what do you mean? And they said, what are you doing with your genealogy? And I felt so guilty that I, I promised them. I said, I mean, I'm talking in my dream. And I said, I will check things out and make sure that the temple work is done for my ancestors if it has not been done. So I started for, I got really pretty involved and then I'm called as the State Young Women's President. <laughs> and that took a lot of time and we had eight wards in our stake. And going around to visit each ward, I mean, it was, I mean, I, I was busy. And I, then when I had this dream and my mother said, when I got up, I told her about it. And she said, I think your job, your responsibility is to do your genealogy. So then I go back to doing the genealogy, kind of part-time because I still have my position. Well, then we move. We move out of the stake. So it took them a month little over a month before they found a replacement. But then I was released and I have just been working my genealogy. I would spend three and four days after work up at the library. Wow. And I didn't go on the weekends because I had other things to do to prepare for uh, my Sunday job and um, work and that so that's what I did and that's what I have been doing I'm I'm embarrassed to say that since this pandemic is over now and you can go to the library I I hadn't been until three weeks ago when um, I was going to go back up to you know my old stake because I don't need, I'm, I'm new here. I don't know where um, any, you know, who teaches or how good they are. But my niece said, Anna Dill, there's this single girl, my niece's husband, my nephew, was the, um, I think they had enough to call it a ward. It may, it may have been a branch, a singles. They, he was over singles. And there's this gal here that she really is, my, my niece didn't know that she was accredited genealogist or anything like that. She says she really knows genealogy. And do you want me to ask her if she will, you know, go to the library with you? And so you're familiar with the, not downtown, but you know, to the state library, but it wouldn't be this one, it would be in the state she lived. And she has been fantastic. And she said, what do you want to do? And I said, first of all, I want to make sure that what Ancestry has and Family Search is correct and complete. Okay. And add anything that I have that's not there. So that's what we did and we just finished it Monday. I've been going uh, on Mondays and we just finished it Monday oh, and I'm thinking wow. now what am I going to do? And so I have my books. I have three or four books of Smiths. Smiths? Uh-huh. Just Smiths. Okay. You know, it's all handwritten out. Some of it I've typed when, you know, when I submitted the uh, the work because uh, we used to have to submit them on um, a family group sheet. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. And so I had that. And anyway, I just went through on Monday 
and finish the third book. So I have another book to go on my Smith line only. And that takes in my, my family, me, my mom and dad, and my dad's brothers and sisters, my grandpa and grandma and, and their children, and my great grandparents and my great great. Now, they say we're back to the prophet on that line, but I have found some errors. Some of it's just typographical, I'm sure, where they have, it's um, 12, the date, uh, the month and the day, and it's a 12, but it says 21. You know, they just kind of transpose those numbers. And so that's what I have been doing. And I have finished on that third book, and I'll go to my fourth book and do the same thing, and then I will add anything that I have that they don't have. Have wow. you ever heard of a man named William P. Smith? Well, we could, uh, do you have uh, the smartphones? The, like, compute these kind of phones? Yeah, I do. Do you do the relatives around me thing? No, I haven't done anything on the family tree app. Um, do you have that one? Not really. I'm, um, I like to handle, handle the paper. paper. <laughs> to handle the paper. Oh, I agree. But I we can, understand. the cool I thing agree. about that, I like the paper too. I usually deal with that. But we could put the, that app and then find out the relation. Maybe you're related to mom through um, the Smith line. I'm a Smith. Because we're, we're related to Joseph Smith through the Smith line. Yeah. yeah. Have was. you proven that? Uh, yes. Because they say we are, but I haven't. Well, I, I'm, I'm related as a cousin. I'm, I, I'm, I've gone back to his wife, but not Emma? to oh, him. Oh, Emma? Uh, or a to Emma. Oh, okay. I go back to him, I'm related as his Yeah, just, I've seen, I've seen cousin. that, and as far as I can tell, it looks pretty accurate. Yeah. But I haven't found where I go back to, no, I go back to his wife. You go back to him. But I haven't found out where I go back to him. I mean, his, the Smith line. Okay. The she was a Max. Uh, no, yeah, what was Lucy her name? Max Smith. Mac. Or that yeah. was his mother? Lucy. Lucy, Lucy Max. Max. Yes. The mother. It was Smith's Joseph's mother. mother. Yeah, and Joseph's I can't mother. think, and right now I'm not. And, and uh, let's see, Joseph Smith's wife is? Emma. Hale. Emma Hale. Hale. Hale, Emma Hale. Hale. I'm not, I, I, I don't really, like I say. I can ask you some questions, but I'm going to turn off our speaker here and ask you some questions so I can locate you in Family Search, okay? Okay. Let's do that with my app. Well, Family Search yeah, is here. Yeah, she's, she's doing it right here. now. She's got Family Search She's right just here. turning on Find Us Matches. The reason I'm asking is not so much to, to do a match, is to I can determine how we're related when I find you, and so she can do that. But I'm well, it's right here. So here's my line, and this is what I can see on Family Search with the app that Jacqueline's referring to. Yeah, see, right but I can also search here for your name, but you're living. So the more information I have while you can tell me, the better it is because. When I talk to someone your age, who's 90 years old, I can find out if there is a connection. For instance, I have a friend who is, her family's from Germany, but she's been in the States and now she's, she's lived until she's 80 something. She has an ancestor that goes all the way back to the colonial age. But again, I said Germany, so. But she has an ancestor, and our common ancestor comes from Rhode Island in the colonial times, and he's a colonial reverend. It has nothing to do with the church, but that was a connection for us. And that goes back quite a few generations now. So the best part is you're here, and so if we know your birthday, your place of birth, your parents' correct name, their place of birth and birthday, then it will be impossible to mistake you for somebody else. 
because you're connected into your family. Yeah. You'd agree well, there with me. Is Bill Smith. Is that so? Another Bill Smith. Mm -hmm. And That's good times, to know. And a lot of time, I mean, the and okay. I go to my my primary care doctor mm -hmm. is at the Salt Lake Clinic, and she goes to the Salt Lake Clinic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have You're to just make sure that I yes, say, I okay, what is the address you have? What is the birth date you have? The day and the month and the that year. That it's all accurate. Uh, I have to and it's that you. Every <laughs> You're a female, and you were born what year? Wow. September 18, 1933. Yeah. Where were you born? Salt Lake City, Salt Lake. I did get it. If you could help me know. F-R-A-N-C-E-S is a female. Okay. Mm. F-R-A-N-C-I-S is a female. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. Well, I didn't notice. I didn't know that, but it just seems every time I've seen Francis, it's IS for a man. And so, yeah, mm -hmm. it makes sense. So, tell me, tell me some of your earliest. Oh, we got to do Elvis, too, obviously. <laughs> we have to do the Elvis story when you met Elvis at the train station. And then we lost all the awesome stuff. <laughs> to all those girls at school. <laughs> you can't believe it. Some young teenagers going to the Salt Lake Airport at night because my neighbor worked at the airport. I mean, it was a bus train station. station. The bus station or bus the train station? station. Huh? Bus, bus station or train station? The, the train, station, train station, I mean. The train station. So, we went down there, and we were just standing around. There weren't too many people. It was kind of scary. <laughs> there weren't too many people, but there your your mom and um, her sister and my little sister. They were friends. They were they were just six months apart in age, and so the four of us went down. And we waited, and we waited, and a train pulled in, and we thought, well, he's supposed to get off here, surely. He'll, he'll want to get off a little bit, straighten his leg, whatever. And everyone got off, and, and he didn't, but he finally did. And we went up there, gutsy, oh my <laughs> goodness. We went right up, and Janine said, could I have your autograph? And he looked at him, at her, and she said, who do you think I am? <laughs> and she, you know, she said who he was, and he said, okay. So he gave her the autograph. And so the rest of us gave a little sh sheet of paper and got his autograph, you know. Well, I took mine to school, and I was, you know, this. I showed this friend of mine and uh, anyway, she passed it on to another one, and pretty soon it was going around the the room, oh. and I never got it back. Never got my copy back. Mm -mm. Sorry to hear. Yeah. And Grandma always talked about how she got a cigar from him. She what? A cigar. He she he had a cigar in his pocket, oh. and she said, "Yeah, you don't smoke." This is not good for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. she, oh, yeah. And, yeah, and he said, oh, oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> she said that. And then, and then he said you could have it. And she kept it. And then it, it got smelly, she said. And, well, there was, and it was no I mean, saran wrap in those days. It was Elvis's. Right, though. but what can you do? imagine? And yeah. A year or so, just stuck in a little box on the <laughs> <and> take it. <laughs> yep, uh, so that one had to go thrown away, too. And then how did you two <laughs> learn how to ride a bike? No. Neither one of us had a bike. No? Neither one of us had a bike. And so we'd go up to the corner drugstore. And her sister and my little sister worked at the corner drugstore. And so... We went up to the, we'd go over to the drugstore quite often and 
someone would come and they had a bike. And it was a boy's bike. Then it didn't bother Janine. Yes, we can do this. And I said, I don't know how. Well, we put our, you know, there's the bar and we've got our leg under that bar and we're, we're driving, <laughs> we're pedaling, but, but we're tipped. I mean, I don't know how we didn't fall over, but we didn't. <laughs> I don't know why some things didn't happen to us, but the Lord did bless us. He did. <laughs> were, were you with mom when she drowned at the pool? Well, my mother didn't like, my mother never wore pants. She was always in a dress. Mm. And she didn't like us to wear. In fact, we had, you know, when you're getting to mutual, uh, a softball team. And um, I said, Mom, I'm the only one that's in a dress. And she said, that's all right, you're a girl. Well, pretty soon she gave in, and I did get a pair of pedal pushers. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that word in oh, so wow. long. So you could push the that's pedals. So <laughs> wow. Oh, that's cute. Well, apparently I found a record that belongs to the census, worldwide census. And it has you listed, and it's not attached to your family tree. It says Adele Smith, 1933, Salt Lake. You were a child in 1940, so you were Senses. about seven years old. When I was seven. Your but steak was lady? My dad, okay. my dad died when I was seven. Oh. oh. I turned seven in September, and my father died in October. Wow. And so that leaves mom with... 11 children and three of them, or two of them were out of school and had gone to California to work where they got some good jobs and was making money and they always sent money home to mom. Every payday they sent money home to mom. And so it just kind of became something that we all did. We, when we graduated from high school, if we wanted to go to college, we had to pay for it. But we also had to give mom $20 every, every payday. We had to, we gave, we didn't have to, but we gave mom $20. Um, she had no income uh, coming in, and she, um, by this time, my younger sister, I think they were probably juniors in, in high school, or, or maybe they were seniors. But when, when she got out of school, she also got a job and gave mother money. So I think it increased every now and then, you know, we gave her a little more, but she was able to live in her home and pay the, uh, she owned the home but she still had the lights and, and the water and, and that to pay, yeah. and she had no income except what her children gave her, and mm. we made sure that she was safe. That was beautiful. That also helped her with her personal needs then. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Um, any other grandma? Any uh, other amazing any other stories? stories? Life in Salt Lake? Oh, if I could think. Um, I think it was Wasatch Springs, the swimming pool, out on Beck Street, you know where Beck Street is? Hmm. And our ward mutual went out there. They had a swimming pool in Saratoga, but that was down in Utah County. 
Yeah. Mm. And so that's where we just came from, the area we're mm -hmm. staying. Mm -hmm. And so I remember, I remember going there, and of course your mom was always going swimming, but it was always a one suit. You know, it, it wasn't a two-piece bathing no. suit. No, no, no. Right, okay. Well, this time, she had a two-piece. And she jumped into the water, and I guess she didn't have it fast enough. And then she stood up, and I looked at her. I said, go down, go down, go down. <laughs> okay. oh. Oh, no. Well, that happens. <laughs> Excuse me if it embarrasses you, but... No, it's okay. We've been there. We've all had something that happened. We just... It wakes it up. It's all good. She developed a lot sooner than any of us, the rest of us girls. There were a lot of us girls this age. And mm. she did... She had a nice shape. She really... She had legs as good or better than Betty Grable. Now, if you know who Betty Grable was, that movie star... Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh yeah, she had a, Janine had a lovely shaped body. I think that, um, I don't know, her dancing, I don't know that, we ran around a lot, but her dancing was, you know, she, that takes some. Yeah. That uh, keeps you fit. Keeps, her keeps healthy. you healthy, keeps yeah. Healthy. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about their wedding or when the children came or what? Well, oh yeah, when I dad was, was born. <laughs> great uh, I was a bridesmaid. Oh. And she had. Um, I have pictures. Yeah. Oh wow. But I don't have them here. My niece has everything, uh, my album, everything that, uh, but I have pictures and I remember it was a, a green print, green floral print. Um, were you assembled outside the temple? At were what? Salt Lake, Salt Lake, Lake Temple? Did you, did you gather the Salt Lake Temple? Did you get to go buried? to the ceiling? Oh yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh wow. I had yes, because I had come home from my Your mission. mission. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, had, I had been. You were able to be there. How cool! I was That's there. Rare. That's rare. That's, That's so beautiful. special. That's really and because Arthur's parents weren't here, because right. they were in Tahiti still, in Tahiti. and then so that's so cool mm -hmm. that you were there for that. But I think two sisters were there. Did we have any? Was other right. any other family were here for Did Arthur? Did sisters come? For the wedding? I want to say yes. Well, yes, because there was Ruidi. Ruidi's in a photo with Grandma. Yeah, um, I remember Ruidi. How about Teo Mede? Teo Mede. Teo Mede. Teo Mede. Mareta. Mareta. I, I, it's okay. There'll the names are hard that I sometimes. actually think we have you in, um, in, in the lineup. Where they were married. Mm -hmm. wow. How about when the children came? Any well, memory of the children? Or when Janine is pregnant? I remember the place they were living, but I'm not sure. Was it Provo? Any what? Was it Provo? Were they living in Provo? They did live in Provo, but when they moved up here, now they had their first child in Provo. Yeah, Ruidi and Jeffrey are born. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, the, I think they were born in Provo. I'm sure they were born in Provo. Mm -hmm. but then they moved up here, but that was a lot, that was later. That's kind of foggy. Yeah, mm -hmm. understandable. But I am curious, when you went on your mission, did you serve your mission before Grandma Janine? You a little bit before. A little before? You were on your she mission the same time, mission. though? 
Back then, did they have farewells for the female missionaries? Do you remember your farewell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was she at present? I have a program. Oh, oh. Uh, of you know they used to have the they used to have programs. I don't know if they do now, but I know some wards do. I know mm -hmm. my ward does. They're very good at making the program. <laughs> yeah, they are actually. Yeah. But. Uh, Did you go no, to the language uh, training Janine, mission? Janine. Janine. I, no, Janine didn't uh, speak at my, I was going to say for you, no. <laughs> Janine didn't speak at my farewell. I had Robert Tolman, who was our Sunday school teacher. He spoke. Mm. I and I this. think an uncle spoke. I'm not sure. Oh, so Robert wow. Tolman spoke at your mission farewell, and maybe your uncle. And, and, and do you? But so I I know Robert Tolman did. Did yeah. You asked specifically for him to speak, or did you get to orchestrate your entire program? No, we did, and I think Janine had him also. Oh wonderful! Wow, that's exciting. Did you attend the Liberty Stake? No. No. We lived in. First Ward, Park Stake, okay. and the First Ward was divided, and both of our families were in the New Ward, and it was called Duncan Ward, oh, Duncan Ward. named after Bishop John Duncan, who was the bishop for about 17 years or so, Whoa. way back then. They... They wow. served a long time. That's a long mission. That's a long bishopric. Now, what was your stake? Park. Park, Park. stake. P A R K. So even Did, though and it's still uh -huh. now I don't know Park stake. Are they with Sugar House? No, I think they're with University now. University wow. stake. That that's how things. Yeah. What I said is that they're the reason you know that. We, we don't have a, a park state. There is a building there. I remember when the building was built right next to our school and our, our church, our, our new building. And, and it, well, the new building was built up on the corner on 7th South and 8th East. Okay. That's where the first ward is now. It's along uh -huh, Along with the Valley Death and Dumb Branch. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. Yeah. I, that I was in speak our sign state. language. That was in our state. We all do, actually. We all the, speak sign language. The valley, the, the valley death branch. shouldn't say death and dumb, but the valley um, death, death branch. branch. Yeah. Okay. Is, it still, is there still a group or a branch out in this area? Wonderful. Wow. As far as I know, there is. That's For your wonderful. mission, did you attend the language training? No. Did you speak Portuguese? Do you speak um, Portuguese? Follow. Follow. Um, yes, I do. Yeah. It means I do. It means I do. Follow, follow means I do. Uh -huh. What's What's thank you in Portuguese? Brigada. Brigada or brigada? Bri. Brigada. 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 And then hello. And then I know ciao, you say goodbye. Ciao but, is goodbye. Um, hello. Bom dia. Bon dia. It's a good day. Okay. I mean, we didn't say, you know, that would be it. Bon dia. Good day. Bon dia. Oh, wow. There's some interesting facts I want to tell you. In 1933, my uncle Dale Lee White was born. And he served his mission in Brazil also. Yeah. What was his name? Dale Lee White. And he An elder loved White. his mission, served three years in Brazil. And it would have been approximately the same time you did. Because back then, there were only two missions. Brazil's a only big country, mission. though. Right. Yeah. He was born in 1933, and you were born in 1933? Mm. Okay. Well, okay. Well, but he's also okay. leaving on an I, earlier mission. I was sisters the 11th oh, sister missionary. Right. To go to Brazil. 11th 
Missionary? The 11th. Wow. I was the In 11th sister the missionary sister to go to Brazil. Wow. There wow. were few of us. And um, I went to Araraquara, Baru, Vila Mariana, which is in the Sao Paulo uh, state. Uh -huh. And then from there, I went to Rio de Janeiro. Ah. And I served, no, from there, I went to um, Porto Alegre, which is down by the Uruguay Paraguay border. Wow. And I served there for a number of months. And then I went to Rio de Janeiro, and I finished my mission in Rio de Janeiro. Wow. Where there were just, there was Rio, Campinas, and Niteroi. In, in that state, there were the three different, um, I don't know, you don't, that they were branches or whatever you, that's, the church was in three different places. In, in that state, in the cities, there were th in three different cities. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Could you do me a favor and say your testimony in Portuguese? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, well. uh, Take your time. All the time you need. You know, my, my uncle loved talking Portuguese. Um, but he has a journal that's made of inlaid wood and inside are these little four corner pocket holders for the photographs and he had them carefully laid in there without any descriptions. Oh, so we don't know anyone in the photos. But her brother that has the I album gave it to Danny. lives here. He so he could bring here. it over and you could take a look he at it. He could show it to you. <laughs> and maybe and you, you could, could put the names to just, the faces. Or at least just get acquainted with maybe. that era because it was, and, and Jeff is correct, correct when she says that if he served at the age of 19, you if served you're serving at, at the age of 21, it's possible there's, you know, within the three year span, he was there three years. Mm -hmm. but, but I served too. My mission was two years. Two years? Yeah. yeah. If you spoke a foreign language, sisters served two years. So he would have been wow. 22. And the and elders served out. two and a half years. Oh, wow. He That's went three, awesome. but yeah. So it, it's possible there was a month or two that you were out at the same time, but whether or not you were in the same area. Well, I didn't, I didn't know all of them, you know, the elders. Right. I, of course. Uh, I knew a, I knew a lot of them, but um, did did you sail sh by ship? Do you remember your voyage to get to the mission? We got in a hurricane. Oh, oh, oh no! It was the worst oh. hurricane in seven years. They said we were to go from was it Florida we sailed out of or New York? thinking Florida. I, I'm thinking Florida. Like Port Everglades? Uh-huh. And they said oh. that it would take seven days. Okay. Well, because of the... Um, the hurricane? The hurricane. It took us 17 days. I was on that water. Everyone was sick except me. Oh. And... Oh. My friend, or this gal in our ward, had returned, she served a mission in England, and she said, when you're on the ship, make sure you just eat. You won't feel like it, but make sure you eat. Make sure you have something on your stomach. And that's exactly what I did, and I did not get sick. Ah, wow, that's a good piece make of advice. Make sure to eat. Don't be an empty stomach on a. I can't eat. I can't. Eat. I'm sick. I'm gonna. But I didn't even. I didn't even throw up. I just ate a little bit. Went down. Had to hold on. We had to hold. Um, 
it was a little strange because we were never to be alone. Right, and yeah. And my companion was sick. <laughs> and do you know David A. Christensen? He's quite a... a I've heard of the name, he's yes. He's a motivating speaker uh -huh. in the church. Okay. Well, he served at the same time I did. He, we went down together. Oh, wonderful. And so um, I was trying to, you know, see what I could do to help them because the missionaries were sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But finally I convinced um, Sister Riggs, Abby Riggs was the sister that went to Brazil with me, that she should eat. She's like, I said, just eat, just eat a little bit and increase it, just eat have something on your stomach. And it worked. And so we were, t you know, trying, all oh, the elders were really sick. But they finally got better. And um, before we got to Baia, when we got to Baia, we were able to get off the ship. We, we didn't stop at Cuba. Cuba? Cuba. Yeah, we didn't stop there. Normally they do. But because we were so late, we didn't stop there, but we stopped at Bahia, which is the first Brazilian, I guess. Now I'm, you know, I'm trying to figure out, it's a, a, just be, just as you enter into Brazil, it, it's the first little state or whatever they call them. Mm -hmm. Province. Yeah, you realize I've been home. <laughs> For a while, <laughs> For <two> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, you yeah. still remember that. That's uh, pretty special. That's, you look wonderful. Yeah. Oh. You look wonderful. Well, so you just celebrated your travel. birthday on the 18th, 18th of September. Wow. That's awesome. Do you want to give your testimony, though? Can you do that? In Portuguese? Oh. Or a song. A short one? Um, or something. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have to be in Portuguese. It can be in English. No, I'd love it in Portuguese. Irmãos and irmãs. El. I can't even think of the word testify. Just little things. El say que. Joseph Smithy, que a prophet, a, a prophet of Dales. I, 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 if you need to fill it in with English, just fill in the blanks with English. Well, if I understand, it could be English, you Portuguese. Testify that Joseph Smith is Portia a prophet of God. Can you say the name of the church in cool. Portuguese? Yeah. The Igreja de Jesus Cristo dos Santos dos Últimos Dias. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you for your service as much. You want to share your testimony in English then? <laughs> 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 what we'll do, what we can do if you'd like, is I could spice it up and then we can put little small segments of your voice on your family oh. search memories. With your they, they won't be here for a testimony meeting tomorrow. Oh. I won't be They'll miss it. Brothers and sisters, I would like to share with you my testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I know with every fiber of my being that it is true. I know that Joseph Smith truly was and is a prophet of God, that he stands at the head of this dispensation and we will be judged by him. I'm, I'm grateful that I was born of goodly parents in an LDS home, that the gospel has always been part of my life. After a Sunday school lesson taught by Brother Tolman, on the way home I thought, I have always said the gospel is true. When I bore my testimony, the first time when I was 13, I said, I know the gospel is true. 
Well, I was coming home from church one day after our teacher gave a lesson on the Joseph Smith story. And I said to myself, I've never asked my Father in Heaven if it's true. Did it really happen? Joseph had a vision. Joseph is a prophet. I mean, I always believed this. Right. I was in our bathroom. I had to wait until everyone after church, you know, went in and then came out and someone else went in and then someone else, so that I had time. But I remember kneeling down, putting my elbows on the bathtub and praying. And when I ask, I said, I've always said that the church is true, and that Joseph Smith was a prophet of God. But I would like confirmation from the Father in Heaven, and from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, my body tingled. It was the warmest. I mean, it, 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 I really just felt my whole body. It just tingled. And I said, Father in heaven, is this my answer? And my body tingled again. And I said, Joseph Smith truly is a prophet. And the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the only true church on the earth. Now I'm, I just turned 13 and I have never doubted it and my testimony has gone stronger when I, when I talk about it. That's the experience I had. I could never, I have never, and I could never deny it. I would be damned for it if I did because I know that that came from my Father in Heaven. He answered my prayers. I know prayers are answered. They may not be answered in that way, but you can get a feeling, a strong feeling, but um, no, I could never doubt it, would never, have never doubted. And some people say, well, you haven't been through things like some people, you know, have been offended by the church for this or that. And I thought, you know, that's pettiness. That's, uh, that's people. It's not the church. It's the people. You remember that. It's not the people. No. The church is true. We have faults. We all have faults. Oh, that's... But people judge the church by the people. So, I have always tried to avoid even the appearance of evil. Now, some of my friends at work would go to a bar they didn't drink, they were members of the church, but they'd go to the bar because they liked to dance. I would never go. I would never go. Avoid the appearance of evil, I would say. I don't want some young gal in my stake that say, oh, Sister Smith went into a bar. You know, they don't know that I'm just going into a bar to with some friends. Uh, see, not that I'm drinking or anything. I no, I, I never have done it. Never will do it. Mm -mm. But see, that's what upset me with Janine, because she did, and I. But um, but you had a conversation with her. You said that I, I remember you asked her. A, a, questions. I didn't record it, but um, 
I think it, I the said, question showed that you I were said, a friend. Why? Why would you go to a bar? Is that who you want to marry? Someone that goes to a bar? I wouldn't want to marry anyone that went to a bar. But bars then were, I mean, they're not like now. I mean, it's, a bar was a bar. They'd go in there to drink, as far as I know, knew that's all they did. But she went to dance and she said, I don't drink a Coke or I don't drink a root beer. She said, I drink a 7-Up. I said, I don't care what you drink. It's the fact that you're going in there. But finally, it sunk in. And I, cause I didn't give in. I just, she got so that she didn't even tell me when she was going, but she did say, I'm not going anymore. And it mm -hmm. was, I know, do you know where Wasatch Springs is? Wasatch Springs. Yeah, it's out on Beck Street. Beck Street, okay. And Wasatch Springs on Beck Street. It's, um, they have a swimming pool. Um, we went there once with our mutual. And it's, yeah. But. So that's a memory. And she, that's what she told you? She said, I'm not going anymore? <laughs> well, you, okay. you went to this location as a mutual. Were you young women together and swam together? Well, it was, we just went to the, to the swimming, uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. We'd go out to Saratoga Springs, but we went, I know of once, I don't know that we went any other time, but we went once, mm -hmm. and I just, it was just different. Saratoga Springs, I don't know if it was owned and operated by members of the church, but it was different. I had a different feeling when I went out there, oh. and I, 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 I wouldn't go anymore. You didn't want to go to that place. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the one in Saratoga Springs was no. a the one, lake? The, the Wasatch. Was the other one. You went to the other one, though, more with the swimming pool. What? The Wasatch. one near Birch Street, you went to that one. No, that was, that's, that was Beck, the one on Beck, Beck Street. Sorry, Beck Street. And that's Wasatch. Was, what was it? Wasatch Springs? What? I, I don't. That one you it felt okay. It will come to me, but sure. I. That know. one you felt okay going to. No. No, that I, one I went with, oh. but I, I didn't like going there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, is this more of a municipal pool, or was it a lake? Yes. A municipal pool. Was Saratoga Springs a pool or a lake? A pool. A pool, mm. okay. Have you ever heard of lakes called the sinks? No. Okay. Well, thank you. Is there anything? We'll stand up and take a picture all Yeah, together. we'll take a picture. And then um, probably individually. So Dad takes a picture with you. I'll take a picture with Mom. Is there anything that and warms Mom your heart at Christmas? Is yes, what? Is there anything that we can do for you to help warm your heart at Christmas? Or give you comfort? Or serve someone? What's a good Christmas present? That you would like us? <laughs> can we help Just extend to someone for you? You know. Okay. I've... I, I just, the, I'm the ninth of 11 children. Okay. Mm. And it ends up with my, m m my brother just younger than me and my sister just older than me. What are their names? And Wanda, Adele, and Adrian. Well, my brother dies. It, it was, oh. my nephew called and said, um, did mom get over there? And I said, yes. Uh, and he said, okay, so you know about dad. He's in the hospital. And I said, yes, I'm, I'm coming over. And I went over there and within, I was there two and a half hours and he passed away. It was so unexpected and he was 
he was my younger brother, but he he just really looked out for me. Mm. Yeah, he made sure that if their family had um, a get together, you did invite Anna Dell, didn't you? Yes, Dad, we did. Uh, he just yeah. Taking and care then of I you. had my sister that was two years older than me that lived in Pennsylvania. And she has uh, two sons that live there, and she had a daughter that lived in Vallejo in California. And her daughter is very close to our side of the family. Well, the boys spent more time in Pennsylvania, so um, they're, they're not as familiar with our family the Smith family, as they are with the Laval family. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, see, now I forget where I was going. Well, the that's okay. Things distance, and that's unfortunate. But, but you're, you have who do you the closest keep connections to your now in your family. Are there connections that you have? Oh, well, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. So my sister passed away about eight months ago. This is Wanda? Mm. And it leaves me all oh. alone. Oh, Adele. Wow. We love you. And I'm not alone, but what I mean is that generation is gone. I'm yeah. alone in that generation. My nieces and nephews are wonderful. Good. They are so attentive. And I talk with three or four of them every day. Wow. That's but I talk with them at least once a week, everyone. Wow. I put myself out. I cannot let them. I, I want to know what they're doing. And the, some of them will say to, to one another, well, has Anna Dell questioned you about what you're doing? Did you go to church? And what was your lesson about? And, <laughs> and different things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. That's they important. Do. They need you too. If they feel that connection with you and they know they have you to report to, they know you care. Yeah. Absolutely. Their parents may be deceased, but Anna Dell keeps tabs on them. <laughs> I always have. Your blessing. I always have. Yeah. Well, let's take, a, let's, let's take our group photo together. Yeah, well, individuals too, like yeah. you and Dad, you and